Now, Basaki on Wednesday met with the chairman of the People's Democratic Party's Governors Forum, Aminu Tambwal, and the PDP National Chairman, Uche Sakandas. Correspondent gathered that the meeting was held at the Abuja residence of the River State Governor, Nyesom Wike, in Asokoro. Although details were still sketchy as of the time of filing this report, late on Wednesday, it was gathered that the two PDP leaders and some others in attendance gave the Edo State Governor assurances of their support. It was also gathered that issues discussed included the fate of Obaseki's deputy and others who would join the PDP with him. The meeting came barely one week to the Edo State PDP primary scheduled for June the 23rd. And now, if, and joining us now is Jide Benson, public affairs commentator. Good morning, Mr. Benson. Good morning. Thank you for being with Good us morning. this morning. Now, how will you describe the drama going on in APC leadership? It's a very interesting one. As we'll see on the street, narcissism film with the watch. Um, however, I'm happy that um, Napoleon Bonaparte, as I'd like to call him this morning, appears to have met his Waterloo. And I'm happy thus far with the successes um, that Giles or Basteki seems to be getting. Congrats to the people of Edo State. Do you consider this as democracy in action? Or is it a do or die syndrome as witnessed in the PDP a few years ago, if you recall? It's a bit of both. Um, it's democracy in action to the extent that um, Godwin Obaseki has chosen to fight. He has stood up to be counted. Um, whichever way the pendulum swings, even if at the end of the day he does not become he does not continue to become the governor, at least he has gone down fighting. But I don't think that would be the case. Um, it's also desperation, and you can tell where the desperation is coming from. Um, clearly, it's on the part of um, Adam Um the same person who said he fought tooth and nail to liberate Edo State from the clutches of godfathers, and now wants to become a godfather himself. So it's a bit of both desperation and democracy in action. Right, but any connection to 2023 presidency as hinted by Senator Bola Tinubu? Ah, clearly so. Um, you know, politicians always think about the next elections, not about the next generation. I do not, um, I would not discountenance what um, Bola Tinubu has said. Uh, you know that on all of this, in all of this, rather, we haven't heard him take a position in the, in the, in the build up to the primaries um, screening that took place in Edo State. It was reported that um, Gaius Obaseki, uh, sorry, Godwin Obaseki and some governors paid him to visit. The outcome of that visit, I do not know. Um, he also visited the president. We're not exactly sure what the president's position was. So clearly 2023 is in the works. And you know that every state that is um, controlled by a party is a pointer to how the final outcomes may be. So yes, there's 2023 in this. An interesting statement there you made that uh, politicians think of the next election and not the next generation. Well, Jide Benson, what's your prediction in all of these? My prediction? I think that Gordon Obaseki um, will be governor for another four years. That is my prediction and that is my prayer. All right. Thank you so very much for your thoughts this morning and do keep safe out there, Jide. Thank you very much. I'm not south, actually. I'm indoors. <laughs> <laughs> all right.